Hey everyone, welcome back to We Break Down All the Latest NFL News, Discuss Big Storylines, and Provide Deep Analysis to Keep You in the Know. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. We've got a lot to unpack today, so let's jump right into it. The Pittsburgh Steelers' loss to the Cleveland Browns was anything but ordinary. In fact, it raised some serious questions about how the Steelers are approaching their quarterback situation, especially after Russell Wilson was replaced by Justin Fields during key moments of the game. Before diving into the quarterback drama, let's quickly set the stage. The Pittsburgh Steelers came into their Week 8 matchup against the Cleveland Browns with high hopes. Despite facing the challenge of playing on the road in a hostile environment, Pittsburgh was favored to win. On paper, they had the talent, especially with veteran quarterback Russell Wilson under center. But the Browns, led by defensive powerhouse Miles Garrett, had other plans. In the end, the Steelers lost 24-19 in a game that left fans and analysts alike with more questions than answers. As you can see, the Steelers struggled to generate consistent offense. Despite some flashes of brilliance from Wilson, Pittsburgh couldn't get into a rhythm, especially against a relentless Browns defense. But it wasn't just the loss that had people talking, it was what happened during the game the decision to rotate quarterbacks that raised a lot of eyebrows. That's right, in a surprising twist, head coach Mike Tomlin opted to insert Justin Fields into several key moments of the game, even when the game was hanging in the balance. Fields, who was recently traded to the Steelers and had been recovering from a hamstring injury, was not expected to see significant action just yet. But Mike Tomlin clearly had other plans. So, why was Justin Fields who had been primarily viewed as a backup and a potential, wildcard, player suddenly inserted into high-stakes moments during this game? Well, before we speculate on the reasoning behind that decision, let's look at who Justin Fields is and why the Steelers might have had him in their game plan. Fields, as we all know, is an extremely talented dual-threat quarterback. His ability to extend plays with his legs and make throws on the run made him a household name in Chicago, even though his time with the Bears was inconsistent at best. Fields had a rough start with the Bears, but the talent was always there. His potential to change the game with his mobility is something that Pittsburgh could take advantage of, especially with a veteran like Wilson leading the offense. Now, Mike Tomlin has always been a coach who isn't afraid to take risks or try new things. And that's exactly what we saw in this game Tomlin was looking for a spark. The Steelers' offense was struggling, and Tomlin turned to Fields in moments when a different kind of playmaking was needed. He had promised to get Fields involved in certain packages, and it seems like this was the game where we saw that plan come to life. Fields entered the game at several crucial junctures, including third-down situations, which are often the most critical in terms of setting up a scoring drive or shifting the momentum of the game. The big question is, was this a long-term strategy, or just a one-off experiment? After the game, Russell Wilson was asked about his reaction to being pulled from those key moments in favor of Justin Fields. Now, any other quarterback might have shown frustration or questioned the decision publicly, but Wilson, ever the professional, took a very measured approach. Here's what he had to say. We're all just trying to make plays. We're all working together. Obviously, we trust Justin too. We trust him in what he can do, what he's capable of. I always want to be in there. That's just the competitor in me. But at the same time, we've got great trust in Justin. We've got trust in the game plan. And we're all just trying to win. Now, that's a pretty telling statement from Wilson, don't you think? First off, he acknowledges that he's a competitor he wants to be on the field, especially in high leverage situations like third down in the fourth quarter. That's the mindset of a player who's been in this league for over a decade and has a Super Bowl ring to his name. But notice how he quickly follows that up by expressing full confidence in Justin Fields. It's clear that Wilson's competitive spirit is still as strong as ever. But he's also fully aware that this is a team game, and what matters most is getting the win. Whether it's him or Fields on the field, Wilson's priority is helping the team succeed, even if it means taking a step back and allowing his teammate to take over. To me, this speaks volumes about Wilson's character. He could have been upset, especially with the game on the line, but instead, he's choosing to focus on the bigger picture. Wilson knows that if the Steelers are going to succeed this season, 
it's going to take contributions from everyone not just the starting quarterback. So, let's talk about what this means for the Steelers moving forward. After a disappointing loss to the Browns, and with a brutal stretch of games coming up, it's clear that Mike Tomlin is going to have to adjust the way he approaches this team, especially on offense. The Steelers' upcoming schedule is no walk in the park. They've got the Kansas City Chiefs, the Buffalo Bills, and divisional games against the Ravens and Bengals all teams that have the potential to give Pittsburgh a run for their money. And Tomlin knows that in order to compete with these juggernauts, he needs to have a flexible and unpredictable game plan. Fields brings a different dynamic to the offense than Wilson. As a dual-threat quarterback, Fields can keep defenses off balance. His ability to run the ball and make plays with his legs is something that Pittsburgh hasn't had in a quarterback since well, maybe ever. So, it's not surprising that Tomlin is testing out this new wrinkle in the offense, especially given how ineffective their traditional offense has been at times. Imagine a situation where Wilson is leading a drive, and then suddenly, you insert fields into the game for a short yardage situation or a read option play. That kind of unpredictability could catch opposing defenses off guard, especially if Wilson and Fields have developed chemistry and the right timing in practice. So, will Fields be more involved moving forward? It's hard to say for sure, but considering Tomlin's penchant for experimentation and his willingness to adapt on the fly, it wouldn't be surprising to see Fields more often in the future particularly in critical situations where his mobility could make a difference. Now, there's another side to this story that we can't ignore the frustration within the Steelers' locker room. After the loss to the Browns, wide receiver George Pickens was visibly upset. And when we say upset, we mean visibly upset. Pickens had an exchange with Browns cornerback Greg Newsom that almost turned physical. And after the game, Pickens didn't hold back, giving reporters a piece of his mind. He didn't mince words when he said, we just need to keep grinding. Like I said, conditions played a huge part in today's game. I don't really think the Cleveland Browns are a good team at all. I think the conditions kind of saved them today. Now, let's be real here while Pickens is a fiery competitor, those comments might come across as a little misplaced. Yes, the weather conditions were tough for both teams, but the Browns capitalized on their opportunities. Pittsburgh didn't execute when they needed to, and it's not just about the weather. Pickens' frustration is understandable but it's also a reminder that this team has to look inward if they want to turn things around. So, what happens next for the Pittsburgh Steelers? They've got a tough road ahead, but the key to their success will be in making the right adjustments. Mike Tomlin has already shown he's willing to experiment with his game plan, and the inclusion of Justin Fields could be a sign that he's looking for ways to improve the offense. But it all starts with the leadership of Russell Wilson. If he continues to buy into the team-first mentality and works alongside Fields, the Steelers could still find a way to turn this season around. The Steelers are still sitting atop the AFC North, but with the Chiefs, Bills, and Ravens looming, they're going to need to be at their best to keep pace. Can Wilson and Fields coexist and lead this offense to greater heights? Only time will tell. Alright, that's going to wrap up today's video. What do you think? Should Mike Tomlin continue using Justin Fields in key moments, or should Wilson remain the focal point of the offense? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.